Hi, John, with AJ. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. You're supposed to interview me. <laughs> yes, my bad. Okay. The other way around. Other way around. Okay, uh, we'll let Although you. I like this better. You oh. can ask me questions if you like. No, it. no, really. You've got Okay. Yeah. So, first question I have to ask. Though, yes. Did you hypnotize your fiance to get her to say yes? Absolutely. And I have to say, she's a stunningly attractive woman. <laughs> and uh, fortunately, that was all completely conscious. There was no hypnosis involved. <laughs> Only when I gave her the ring, I, I, you know, I made her believe the ring was a little bit bigger and more impressive. <laughs> yeah. That was it. But the no the, flaws in it. No flaws in it. But yes. the agree to marry me, completely legitimate. Okay. Yes. Excellent. Yes. Um, and then you said that I heard earlier you were talking to somebody and you said that you're always looking for good luck charms or whatnot do you you know I'm funny I'm kind of superstitious that way okay but um, I don't always look for them but sometimes if something happens then in my mind as a hypnotist you anchor yeah. something with something else and you're, you're kind of drawn really, to it you're trying to draw to it so the last time I was here at uh, comic-con in September uh, Morgan who was a, a little girl that was here mm -hmm. uh, her mom actually works here okay and after the show she was she came up she asked for my autograph and I gave her my autograph then she took a picture of her she had a picture of her with a weeping angel from Doctor mm -hmm. Who yeah. and then she wrote on the back of it great show Morgan and it was just like it was one of those things where I went wow that was you know it was really nice and I put it in my bag mm -hmm. and every show that I do Morgan is right there in the bag oh, that's you awesome. know her picture and it's kind of what I go this is my good luck charm I carry you know Morgan's picture with me anymore. so yeah that's kind of that's how excellent. I roll excellent and now how long have you been doing this uh, I've been doing stand-up comedy for about well over 20 years I've okay. been doing stage hypnosis for about the last three years now you have hit like wise guys correct yeah or, I okay. perform at all the local wise guys Mm -hmm. And uh, I perform all over the country. I do mostly the hypnosis show now, so I don't do my stand-up as much as I as much as I do. Mm -hmm. Which one do you prefer better? I would have to say, you know, they both have pros and cons. Mm -hmm. I prefer the hypnosis more, okay, um, because um, it's more fun. It's more mm -hmm. interesting for me. When it's just stand-up comedy, it's just me, and right. um, there's no fun okay. about that. Absolutely. But with hypnosis, yeah. you never know what's going to happen. You know, yeah. every show is completely so, different. You never know what the audience is going to be like. You never know what they're going to volunteer. You never know how people are going to re respond. So, you know, it's kind of flying without a net, so that's kind of interesting. So now, how also can you tell, I mean, who's hypnotized or who's not, or how do you kind of... Yeah, you know what, there are, there are things to look for when you're doing an induction. And if, you know, you got a group of people up on stage, and if there's somebody that's not um, responding the way that they're supposed to respond, or you can tell by their eyes, um, then you want to get them off stage as quickly as possible, and right. replace, and like here, um, I have kind of a pool of people off to the side that I can bring up on the stage. Yeah. You know, that doesn't always happen most of the time. Sometimes you've got 20 chairs on the stage. Those are the 20 people you're going to have to work on. Maybe you've got to whittle that down to 10 or 12 or something. But at least with this, you know, I've got so many people that volunteer. Right. You know, I can get rid of the people that aren't responding the way they should be and bring up the people that are. As well as one of the biggest things is probably, like, willingness in the first place, you know? So yeah. to get them up on stage, that already means that they're more, I guess, submissive or, like, prone not, to it, perhaps? It's receptive yeah. to hypnosis. Receptive. It's not there necessarily go. submissive, but, yeah. but they have to be willing. And right. um, if they're a willing participant and they can get out of their head and just relax, mm -hmm. then uh, that's what we look for, you know? And some people come up after me at the show, they go, why could I be hypnotized? I say, I don't know. Yeah. I'm not inside your head. You're thinking about something. Something's going on. Yeah. Try again. And I have people that have come and they've tried again and, and it works for them then. Or I've had people that have been hypnotized and come back to another show, try again, and for whatever reason it didn't work that night. But it's what's going on inside their head. But if they can get outside of their head, they can relax and just let it go, then it's just easy. So now your different ones that you, I mean, offer, you have one for like feeling good or falling asleep quicker and other one, which other ones do you have? Again? Well, I offer nine uh, separate self-hypnosis audio programs after the show because a lot of times people have come up to me and they said, oh my gosh, you know, can you meet with me one-on-one? -on -one? Can you do this? Can you do this? Can you do this? And I don't have time because I right. travel. So I've made the programs available and I have stop smoking, weight loss, reduce stress, increase memory and focus, increase your confidence, mm -hmm. um, stop physical pain. Uh, fall asleep, uh, overcome a heartbreak, and um, creating success for yourself. Oh, so, excellent. And those are something that you can just listen to, and, you know, it works. Excellent. Well, thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Uh, yeah, that's AJ. I'm John. <laughs> Here at Comic-Con. Comic-Con. Yeah.